Hey everybody, so I promised myself last month that I would do a few more figure videos and just a few more figure projects in general. Um, that didn't happen, so it's almost the end of December now and it still hasn't happened, so I'm hoping <laughs> that uh, between mid-December and then maybe into January I'll make that happen. So first thing, first project I want to work on is the new Thousand Suns Rubric Marines from Games Workshop. Now I just got these in the mail. Um, so what this video is going to be is just a quick little unboxing just to show you guys what's in the box and what the contents look like. Uh, these are new-ish, I think, if not brand new-ish. I'm not too sure. I don't really follow Games Workshop releases that closely, um, but I did go on about a week ago and I saw the, the, that they had new Thousand Suns and I'm a huge fan of the Thousand Suns stuff, especially the old school stuff, so I love the way these looked, I'm like, I have to have them. So I went ahead and picked up a box. Um, I haven't opened this yet, so I'm opening this live as we speak, just to see what's in here. Um, here, just before we do, is these are the con these are the... This is the art on the box. Again, these guys look awesome. I can't wait to actually start uh, start painting them. So this video is going to be as a quick unboxing, quick little inbox review, and uh, and then we'll get on painting them eventually. So this is what you get in the box. There's actually, a lot of uh, a lot of goodies in here. Ooh, there's a lot of decals. Oh man, I guess Games Workshop's back to uh, putting a crap ton of decals in there. Uh, it's actually pretty good. And these are obviously these are all chaos decals. It's not just uh, not just a thousand suns. A lot of world eater stuff. Um, Iron hands, uh, death or um, night lords. A lot of chaos stuff in here. These are nice decals. Again, I haven't looked at Games Workshop products in a while, so they look a little. They seem a little thick. But I think I think we'll be okay. As far as no silvering, it seemed a little thick, but I think we'll be okay. Anyways, I don't. I think oh, this came off the details. There you go. So this is all right. Let's have a quick look through the instructions before I do anything else. Um, not that these instructions are anything that's ever complex, or I mean, it's it's games like shop figures. It's kind of cut and dry, but. What they do do is they show you at least how to uh, how to assemble the various weapon choices. Uh, this guy in particular, the um, the aspiring sorcerer. That's that's what I was looking for. Aspiring something. I wasn't sure whether it was a champion or what. But anyways, this guy in particular is the one that I'm really looking forward to building or to painting rather. Uh, it's a really cool model. The rest of them look awesome too. Again, as I said, I love the uh, Thousand Suns. Always love the way we looked. Uh, here's all your options, obviously your body options and everything. I think I'll do a quick or a shortened video, a shortened build video of me actually building these, and then I'll do at least uh, this is another cool one, by the way, with the um, uh, what did they call this? Wait, the backpack there. Uh, there was a specific name for it. Icon of Flame. There you go. With the icon of flame on there, that's actually going to be pretty cool too as far as painting wise. And here's the, uh, here's a shot of the finished black and white. Anyways, let's take a look at what's on the sprues. Uh, when I say I'm not a big Games Workshop fan, I do have a lot of their figures, though I love... The quality's obviously always there. I'm trying to... I'm trying to word this the way I want to word this. Uh, the quality's obviously always there. They're, they always produce quality models. I'm just always not a huge fan of the aesthetics of how they look. But um, as far as their newer stuff goes, uh, again, I love the uh, the Chaos Space Marines in general. Uh, Space Marines, for the most part, look awesome. Um, the new orcs from uh, Age of Sigmar look cool. Just, in general, if it grabs my eye, if it grabs my attention, I'll buy it. Um, it won't be everything, but anyways, here's the uh, here's the backpacks. Here's the detail on the backpacks. Yeah, and great detail on these the guns. Here's the uh, icon of flame, which looks cool. 
fence. Yeah, those are fence. There's backpacks on the other side. That kind of flame. Makes a couple of heads. And guns. And detail, again, is, is always amazing on Games Workshop products. Just a matter of aesthetics for me as far as a matter of taste. Um, Grey Knights is another 40k product. I love the way they look. Um, I almost bought the uh, the Terminators for the Thousand Suns, but I wasn't the new Terminators. But I wasn't that thrilled with the aesthetics, the way they looked. So I ended up going with the the regular Rubric Marines. Now the plan is to to do a video series on painting this entire squad over you know, a few weeks' time or whatever it is. Um, I think what I'll end up doing is a series on, or, or a video on how I paint one of these guys, which will probably be the, uh, the Exalted Sorcerer. And then I might do a series of smaller how-to videos on, on, you know, painting blue or painting an MM Gold or whatever. Whatever it is I end up doing on the various other figures. Because if I video painting every single one of these, it's going to take me forever, but anyways, that's what's in the box. Um, again, the detail, the plastic, plastic feels heavier, I don't know if the Games Workshop changed their, uh, changed their formula for the plastic or what, but it feels heavier, it feels thicker, almost. Um, I think I might do an assembly video on these, and then I'll, again I'll do separate uh, how to paint videos on a couple, or on, or I'll do a separate uh, start to finish paint video on one one of them, and then I'll have the base is also, and then I'll do separate you know how guide videos on on various subjects afterwards. But anyways, that's the uh, that's the what in what's in the box. Again, looking good, looking very good, looking detail as always looks awesome. Um, Plastic feels a little bit heavier, so I'm wondering whether it changed their formula or not, I don't know. That's not a bad thing at all, um, if they did. But uh, yeah, that's that, and stay tuned for the uh, the build video on this, which again should be fairly short. It's figures, it's not, <laughs> yeah, it's not a model kit by any means, it's me building figures, but that said, I just quickly would like to do one, and, you know, in case there's any issues, or just show you guys how they come together. And then there will be a series of paint videos on me painting these. Alright guys, thanks for watching.